Hey everyone, this is Squallsnake from MyGamer.com, and today I am playing a very special game. This is Clockwork Aquario, and this is an arcade game that was never released, and it is going to be available on PlayStation 4, where I'm playing it now, and on Switch soon. At the time of this recording, this game isn't going to be available to the to the public for like... Uh, two more weeks or something like that so I get to play it early and I'm really excited because I really don't know what this game is obviously it hasn't come out before but I the the artwork in this is gonna be amazing so I've seen the screenshots I got the press release so I'm excited to check this out real quick before we get started training mode use this mode to get use of the game mechanics you have unlimited credits uh, game ends after stage two easy mode you get nine credits normal five credits and hard mode three credits you get a bonus mini game after you play level three you need two players and then you can adjust settings in the arcade mode pretty cool that you get a gallery too maybe I'll click on this real quick go quickly scroll through but you get some drawings you get some artwork some behind the scenes there's some some cool stuff but the, then you also get this soundtrack I'm not gonna jump into this now. I want to start playing because I'm really excited. I'm going to play it on easy mode. Never played this before. Very first time I'm playing this. I, uh, check out the options. Oh, so you can adjust the display. Yeah, we'll go 1-1. One, one. And the filters. There's a shader. I don't know what the controls are going to be. I guess that's the only thing. When playing the game, you can enter the options menu by pressing the uh, touchpad it also pauses the game. Okay, we're gonna hit the touchpad now and get started. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Got everything right there at the bottom of the screen. Check me out. Huck, Londo, Ellie, Moon, and Gush. I think I'm gonna go play as Huck. And it seems to be a two player game, but I will be playing so. Wow, look at the animation on that. Holy cow, did you see that? This is not me playing right here, by the way. This is some type of a cutscene. I guess it's showing you that you can jump on guys and get 100 points, and then you can smack them. 200 points for smacks, maybe? I got some kind of a gem. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know uh, the point of this game, but... Man, that artwork. You don't see games like this. I'm drinking a red potion right now. Looks like I'm invincible, maybe? I don't know. But, oh, so you can smack them once, they get stunned. A little bit of a Kanoa kind of thing going on there. Interesting. So those guys just popped as soon as I hit them. One smack. Grab. There we go. We will eat another red potion. Got a trophy. They didn't want to listen. I don't know what that means. We've been killing a bunch of guys. I did not check out the trophies. Maybe I should have did that before I started playing, but that's okay. So I'm hitting... Square to attack, X jumps, kind of standard for the course. Circle also attacks, and weirdly enough, triangle also jumps, so you can kind of use whichever... Why? Wow, I thought I was going to get killed by those spikes there. Another red potion that I just threw away by accident, didn't want to do that. Looks like we got a boss. The triggers and shoulder buttons don't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, so I guess the whole... Whoa, you can duck. So I guess the whole mechanic of this game is the... Oh, I turned yellow, or gold or something. I don't know what that means. Oh, I can shoot stuff now, look at that! I don't know what I, how I got that power, but that's, that's cool. Alright, I guess that's level one. Round clear. I'm curious to see how the two player mode works. Like, if it's two players, I would be a little worried that maybe the screen is too, be too cluttered, I don't know. 
Uh, I wanted to go up there, but I messed that up. Oh, I thought that was a hole. Okay, and you can walk on the rainbow. Alright. So these are just balloons, and I guess they don't kill you. But the enemies definitely do. Oh, so red gave me some health back. That's what it is. That's kind of interesting because normally when you play an arcade game, the last thing the developers want to do is give you any kind of health back because they want to take your quarters. So that's pretty unique. So I don't know why, I don't know the, the, the exact story behind this game, but I guess it was some type of an unfinished arcade game, or apparently this seems to be kind of finished to me. I mean, maybe there's some levels or something missing, but... Oh, you can throw stuff up, too. start right there. That was pretty unique. I messed up the jumping again. Oh, that was... the more you hop, kind of like in Mario, you keep the hops going. Here's level 2 boss. Wow, I got really lucky. I did not know that was going to happen. I died again. Wow, you can die pretty quick if you... if it gets out of control. Okay, let's play as the girl. I forget her name. Let's see if there's a difference. Wow. Okay, I don't know how to... Alright, I beat it, but I died a lot. I don't know how many lives I have left. Round clear. The girl seems to play... the same? Oh, that was cheap. Man, listen to that soundtrack. Stuck by the balloon. That was cheap. 
Alright, let's play as the robot. Whoa, this guy has a huge attack. Red potions. Whoa, here we go. Star power. Star power. Pretty nice. And this is, should be the level 3 boss. It's like he just dies so fast if you get hit. Alright, well, I'll beat him. Round start. I guess this is that mini game? I think I said it was between. Maybe not. See, I... That was cheap. I'm gonna play as a robot again. supposed to dodge that, so just too many guys. Let's try again. That, but when the robot takes damage, he actually takes damage. He looks beat up. Alright, let's keep going and see what's up. So I'm seeing a lot of the same enemies, but I'm still having fun. Ah, oh, died right before the health potion.
go back to the dude. Back to his hand slaps. Too big. Yeah, you don't have enough time to hit the boss. Look at that. Like, you have to be... I don't know what the secret is. Let's try the robot. Maybe that's the secret. Continues. I don't know how I can insert coin. Let's see. Options. No. No, I can't insert a coin. That's it. That's all the continues I got. That was the nine continues. Oh, and I hit the button too fast. So I will be by. Yeah. Well, I died. I did not beat it. I got a couple of trophies. That's been 20 minutes. High score. I got the high score. So yeah, this game's kind of hard. It's it's easy at, at points, but that boss right there was a little cheap. Maybe it's a little bit better with two players. I don't know. But, Ellie Moon. Let's see. Yeah, close game. Yeah, so that was easy mode. Be curious to see. I don't know how many modes there are. Or how many stages there are. But anyway, this is Clockwork Acario. You can follow me at MyGamer.com and at Zach Gaz on Twitter. Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And thank you for watching. And until next time, game on.